<sighs> yeah, so it's just like one thing after another, like trying to download something or trying to put a file into something else so I can work on it on another device. Yeah. The bane of my existence. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and stand up. <sighs> and bring the arms up above the head. Touch the fingertips together. We're gonna take a breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling. We're gonna do that three times. So inhale. Exhale. Swan dive it into a forward fold. You could even pedal your knees in and out just to kind of stretch the backside of your legs. Release the head down. Mull it back up. Hands come back together. Step your feet out just a little bit. Lean over to the left. And then we'll turn towards the left leg. Bring the hands down to that foot. Let the head follow. Take a breath. Come back up. Hands are gonna be in the same position. This time we're gonna lean over to the right. Turn. Go down to that right foot. Back to the middle. And then you're gonna drop down a little bit further, maybe bend your knees. Just taking that forward fold a little bit deeper. <sighs> Rounding the spine. Bring the arms all the way back up. Push the hips forward. Arch back. we come forward, we're going to bring the arms down and swing them back behind us and then come up sort of with some force. So we're dealing with the holidays, right? And all the energy of all the people scurrying around, trying to get all their gifts, dealing with family. This is a good way to release anything. So we're energetic beings. We like to store energy for some reason and hold on to things, including anger and whatever emotions, all these things that we're doing are creating. So this is a good way to clear yourself of that. So what you might do is exhale when you come down, sort of like a sigh, and then breathe up. Arms back up. It's 
releases you from <sighs> taking on anybody else's shit. <sighs> The negative energy, anything that they're projecting, releasing it from your energetic body. And then just hang down here. You can round the shoulders. Move the body around. Move the hips, the knees, the shoulders, the head, the neck. Roll it all the way back up. So now we're going to cross the hands up top, bend the knees as we come down, nice and gentle. So we're like creating this energetic bubble of protection. This can be as fast or as slow as you want. We're going to take a wide-legged chair pose. So keep your feet the same, and you're just going to squat down, holding position, breathing, activating the quads. Pressing down through the heels, spreading the toes. Release your tailbone, drop your hands, and then roll yourself forward, rounding the spine as we come back up. Hands come above us, interlace the fingers, turn the palms towards the ceiling. When we release the hands, we're going to take a slight bend on the knees, expanding and contracting. So rounding the spine, bringing the head forward, and then opening the chest, bringing the head back. Go ahead and go back into that forward fold, wide-legged. 
Grab your elbows. Release your upper body. If you want to swing forward and back or even sway side to side, you can do that. Drop your hands, walk yourself out into a down dog, pressing heels back, hips are high, releasing the head away from the shoulders. Taking those big inhales and exhales here, trying to release any tension that you may have on the upper part of the shoulders, around the neck, even the sides of the neck. Sometimes you need to wiggle your head a little bit to just signal to your body that it's okay to let go. Imagine you have this weight attached to your head and it's just pulling you towards the floor. And drop down a level, just going onto our forearms. This is called dolphin pose. The back of the body is the same. You can place your palms flat if you want, or I'd like to touch my fingers together, sort of in prayer hands. Drop the knees. Extended child's pose, so tucking the tailbone, dropping the forehead down. Gonna lift back up through down dog. Take your right leg up, point the toe. Bend that knee, let the foot fall back, open up the hip. This is great for the psoas. Take a breath. We're gonna bring it back down. Go to the left side, take the left leg up, point the toe. Remember to breathe. Bend the knee, open up that hip. <sighs> Taking it back down to your knees. We'll move through several rounds of cat-cow. Dropping the belly, lifting the head, and then reversing that, bringing the middle of our back up as high as we can. Uh, 
Really linking up with the rhythm of your breath. Come back to a neutral spine. Flip your toes. We're just gonna sit back. Spreading the toes out, intense toe stretch. And then even think about widening, widening your shoulders, lifting the chin up. Stretching everything on the front of the neck. When you come back forward, we're going to lift up through down dog. Walk the feet up just a little bit. And then you're going to leave your left hand down, left foot down. So this is a starting point. This is a half moon pose. So if this is all you can do, that's fine. But if you want to, you can start to lift that arm up. Maybe challenge yourself a little bit. Turn the hip. And rotate it open towards the ceiling. And you just drop the, the right foot down. And then we're just going to straighten the front knee. So you may have to adjust your back foot. Bring your nose to your knee. Release anything on that, the back side of the leg that feels tight. Take your right foot, bring it up to meet your left, and then you're gonna leave your right hand down, left foot down, lifting the back leg and rotating it up. That's the starting point. If you want to try to lift your arm up, Drop the back leg, 
straighten the front, bring your nose to your knee. Release the back of that leg. Step the right foot back so you're in this plank. So you'll lower your body, trying to just straighten it, pulling in the belly button. Holding your arms straight, strong arms, strong core. Lower your belly down. And then we're going to lift up into Upward Dog. Release your hips. Roll the shoulders back. Lower yourself down. Right arm's gonna come out in sort of a 90 degree, palms down. Roll your left foot behind you, rest your head down. So it's called broken wing. If you can't bring your foot all the way back, that's okay. Just try to lift it behind you so you're getting that stretch on the hip again. Pay attention to the stretch in your arm as well. Take a breath. Just gonna roll to the other side, same thing. So that left arm, palm down, rolling the right foot behind you, resting your head. <clears throat> you can use the, the right hand in front of you, sort of hold your position. Breathe. Back to the middle. One more upward dog here. Bringing yourself back. Take your left leg forward into a pigeon pose. I'm sorry, right leg, my bad. What we're gonna do is hang up first. So straighten your back foot, straighten the front part of your body, get your knees where you want them. Bring your awareness down into the hips.
can even take that left leg, reach back for the foot, mermaid pose. So you're stretching the quad. This can be pretty intense. Release the leg, walk the hands out in front of you as far as you want to go down. Take a breath. When you release out of this, you're just gonna bring that right leg back into table. Take the foot out, flex the toes in towards the body. Just doing that a couple times, knee in, foot back. And then rotate the knee out, a couple circles. Let's move to the left leg, so pigeon. First, we're gonna be up. Find the best position for you. Lifting the upper body, check your hips. You can even take that leg or foot up, right foot up, reaching back, squeezing it in towards your body. Releasing the foot, walk the hands down. Take a breath.
coming out into table. That left foot comes back, flexing the toes in towards the body, pulling the knee in. And then rotating the knee out. Walk the knees forward. We're going to sit in cobbler pose. So the feet come together. Taking a breath in. You can choose to hold your feet or you can take your hands out in front of you, but take a breath in. Straighten the spine. Exhale all the air out as you go forward. When you come up, keep the feet the same. Take the right hand, left hand over to the right knee and you're gonna twist back, looking over your shoulder. Release and just going to the left. Same thing. You're breathing and releasing air out of your abdomen as you twist back. <sighs> Trying to keep your back straight, looking over your shoulder. Return to the middle. Take your feet out in front of you, knees together. We're gonna sit up nice and tall, staff pose. So the hands are gonna come up, palms facing each other. Pull the belly button in. Release the hands down and we're gonna try to push towards our feet or even past our feet. 
And then when we lift back, we're gonna to go to that point where we feel the resistance and then back to the front again. So forward and back. Back to center, bring the knees up, lay yourself all the way back. Moving into bridge pose. So we're gonna lift the, the hips up, 